joined the Army at 17 because the reality is I was more afraid of a college classroom than I was of a war zone. I served as a medic with the 173rd Airborne. And during my time in Afghanistan, I often treated a lot of traumatic brain injuries. And then one day, I suffered one myself. I spent an entire year seeing neurosurgeons and neurologists where, at the end of the day, they told me, there's not much that we can do for you. There's not a cure for this type of injury. But I wasn't ready to accept that there were no other options for service members like me. After being medically discharged from the Army and earning his undergraduate degree, Jamie Hentick became a PhD student in the University of Notre Dame's biology department. His research focuses on developing therapies that will mitigate the effects of a traumatic brain injury before it occurs. Nearly 200,000 service members transition from the military to civilian life every year. And it's our responsibility here at Notre Dame to honor those that serve and to help them because that transition is not always easy. There are mornings where I'll wake up and my wife will ask me why there's a textbook in the refrigerator. And I don't remember, I don't know why. It's just scary. As a patient, it is so scary. My motivation comes from I don't want people to have to deal with that. I don't want a little kid who falls off the playground to have to deal with it. I don't want an 80-year-old man who falls off his couch to have to deal with it. And I don't want a military service member to have to deal with it. The University of Notre Dame asks, what would you fight for? Fighting for my military community. We are the Fighting Irish.